Are you worried that you can't finish the MCAT on time? That it takes you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to finish just one passage? That you can't complete a section on time because it just takes forever to read and to answer these questions? What do you do? How do you improve your timing? How do you get faster at these kinds of passages? Hey guys, my name is Jack Weston, and today I'm going to discuss how to finish MCAT passages faster and on time. Before we begin, consider subscribing to my channel so that you get updates as soon as I release new videos every week. And click on the alert notification button. This is the most popular concern I get from students in my course, from students who email me, from students who attend my trial sessions. How do I finish on time? What do I need to do? And to answer that question, I'm going to give you a question. Are you able to get every question right without the timer? Let's say I gave you as much time as you need. Can you get every single question right on a passage? Think about it. The answer is probably no. So then why are you so worried about the timer? Yes, I understand that this is a timed test, but you got to remember that your accuracy matters. You need to do well on these passages if you want to score high. So stop worrying about the timer. And this is why I break down my course into three different sections. Phase one is accuracy. I want you to focus on trying to get everything right without trying to rush yourself. If you can get everything right, it's much easier to improve your timing because you don't end up having to struggle with the questions as much. And that is what leads you to wasting a lot of time anyways. First, focus on your accuracy, how to get every question right. Then you're probably thinking, okay, well, if I do that, am I ready to work on my timing? The answer is no. The second phase is your endurance. Are you able to do nine passages in a row without losing focus, without getting tired, and still getting everything right? Because if the answer is no, again, why are you worried about the timer? If you can't finish nine in a row with unlimited time and get everything right, you are not able to do that when there's a timer. So show me that you can first finish every passage and get everything right for the most part. I would say about 85% or higher is pretty good accuracy on these passages. And then we can talk about timing, which is our phase three. So phase three is how to manage the time. And again, it is so much easier to finish on time or to work on timing when one, you can get everything correct. Two, you can finish without getting tired because I promise you stamina endurance is a big part of this exam. It's a long test. It's really, really hard to stay focused for every single section, especially when you just took the physical section. And then now you have to go into cars when these sections are an hour and a half long back to back. So stop worrying about the timer. When you focus on the right things, you will end up finishing on time. And I find that most students don't even realize that is their problem. Instead of focusing on accuracy, instead of focusing on endurance, which is really hard, most make the excuse of timing. Think about it. I think you'll realize that, you know, maybe I should just get everything right and prove to myself that I can get this finished without losing focus. And then when the time comes to look at pacing and finishing within a lot of time, it will be so much easier. 